Hi everyone! In our last video lesson, we learned how to determine whether an equation is linear or not. In this video lesson, we will transform a linear equation into its standard form. Before we do any of those, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you will be notified for future updates. Enjoy watching! Let us first define what we mean by an equation in standard form. A linear equation in two variables in standard form is an equation that can be written in this form, ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a and b should not be both zero. Now, what is this saying, class? This is just saying that, what can we learn from this one? So first, take note here that all the variables are on one side, all the variables, that is x and y, appear on one side and on one side and your constant appears on the other side, okay? Alright, so for our first example, we want to write 2x minus 7 equals 4y plus x. So what have we learned earlier? So what we want to do is to put all our variables on one side. So I will put that on the left-hand side and then all the constants on the other side. So how do we do that? We transfer. So I will collect all the variables on one side. So I will put 4y here and x on the other side and what else the constant here i will put it on the other side so remember that whenever we're transposing what do we need to remember we have to change the sign so therefore we have 2x the 4y here becomes minus 4y and then the x here becomes minus x equals Negative 7 here, the minus 7 there will become positive 7. And then that's it. We just have to, to simplify our um, equation. We have 2x minus x that is equal to x. And then I still have my minus 4y is equal to 7. So that's it. That's the standard form of this linear equation. What about this one? Right in standard form. So, since in our standard form, actually, this is already in standard form. Correct class. You can look at this as if your A is. What is your A class? What is the number multiplied to? To. Uh, oops. What is B? What is C? Um, what is happening here? What is that number multiplied to x here? Take note that x over 3 is the same as 1 third times x, correct, class? And then y over 6 is equal to 1 six times y. Why is that true? Whenever you do not have a denominator, that means it's 1, correct? And then, how do you multiply fractions? Numerator. Numerator, numerator times numerator, and that is x. Denominator times denominator, and that is your 3 over there. So similarly, y over 6 is the same as 1 6 times y. Clear? So what this is saying is that, because remember in our definition, we said that a, b, and c are real numbers. It doesn't have to be an integer. Correct? So our a is 1 third, our b is 1 6, and your c is 5. But of course, we do not want, I know that for most of you, you do not want to work with fractions. So what we want to do here is to eliminate the denominator. And how do we eliminate the denominator class? So again, this is already in standard form, but we just want to write it in another form in such a way that we do not have any 
fractions. So our goal is to eliminate the denominator. And how do we eliminate the denominator? The key there is by multiplying both sides by the LCD. What is the LCD class? The number which divides both, uh, which can be divided by 3 and 6. What is that number? Which can be the smallest number that can be divided both by 3 and 6. That is 6, correct? So multiply both sides by 6. Then what will we do? What we distribute, correct? We have 6 times x over 3. This is my scratch. Just to show you my 6 times x over 3, right? We are distributing. That's equal to 2x, okay? Plus 6 times y over 6, that is equal to y. Clear? And it's equal to 30. There you go. So this is better. Your A is 2. Your B is 1. Remember, if there's no coefficient there, that is a 1. And your C is 30. Okay? One more. What do we need to do here? Write our standard form. AX plus BY is equal to C. So to make that in that form, we do not want, we want, we, what do we do? We distribute, correct? What is that? 5 times x is 5x plus 5 times 3 is 15 is equal to 4 minus 2y. So what did we do here? And then what do we want to do? Collect all variables on one side. So, I have 5x and then the minus 2y, I will put it here so it will become plus 2y. And then for the 15 here, all constants on the other side. So, 4 minus 15. Therefore, we have 5x plus 2y equals negative 11. So, that's it. Okay? Let's check what you have learned by taking this quiz. Write this in standard form. Now, take note that the answer to this question can be found at our website. You can find the link in the description below. Also, don't forget to comment your score on the comment section below. I hope that you learned a lot from watching this video lesson. If you have any questions at all, please write them down on the comment section below and I will give you an answer as soon as I can. If you like this video, please share it and like it. And again, don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel. See you in my next video lesson.